Webcam secrets. Boy, are we in trouble with this video. But well, welcome back to the channel, my friends. It's your boy, Secret Letters. And recently, I received an email saying that a hacker installed malware that recorded my webcam while I was visiting some spicy adult-related content. And he caught me playing with my little Willy Wonker, my baloney pony, my Jimmy Johnson, my one-eyed winker, my long dong silver, my classic double-barreled Chuck Dickens cinnamon roll DJ hammer of love. Anyways, I think you guys get the point. And unless I send him all my Bitcoin, he's gonna release that video. So like anybody would do, I sent him all my money, just like it was Sands Institute. And now that I'm poor again, that got me to thinking. Is it possible to create an executable that will turn on somebody's webcam and stream that content live over the internet and not get detected? I mean, it doesn't even have to be malware. Well, my friends, the answer is yes. And if you're that one person still watching this video, I appreciate your YouTube support and let's get into it. So we have this executable, right? But let's go back in time and talk about how we got this because baked into it is a simple Flask web application that uses OpenCV to capture video from the default camera that's connected to my PC and then stream it to a web page. Now, when using a Flask application, a route is a URL pattern that the application can respond to. Now, when you define a function like this, you're telling Flask to call that function whenever someone accesses that URL on your website. In this case, the video feed function is called when someone accesses the video feed URL. Now, if you guys are still with me, let's dive a little bit further in how we can turn on this webcam in this Python script. This is the gen function, and this function continuously reads frames from the video stream, encodes them as JPEG images, and then yields them one at a time. Each yielded frame is sent as a separate part of a multi-part HTTP response, which allows the video to be streamed to the client, i.e. web browser, in real time. Now, when I say the gen function yields the frames one at a time, I mean that each time the gen function is iterated over, it generates the next frame from the video feed and returns it. This allows the frames to be generated and processed one at a time rather than all at once, which is pretty useful for streaming video in real time. Now the video feed function's job is to return a response that the browser can display. In this case, it's returning a streaming video feed. It does this by calling the gen function, which captures the video frames, encodes them as JPEG images, and then yields them one at a time like explained before. Now the response function is a Flask function that creates an HTTP response. The first argument is the data to include in the response. And the second argument is the MIME type of the response. Now a MIME type is a standard way to describe the type of data being sent, as you can see here. This is telling the browser that the response will contain multiple parts that should replace each other in the display. And the boundary frame part is a marker that separates each part of the response. Now, each time the gen function yields a frame, that frame is sent as part of an HTTP response. Because of this MIME type, the browser knows to display each part of the response as it arrives, replacing the previous part. This is what allows the video to be streamed in real time because each frame is sent and displayed as soon as it's captured, rather than waiting for the entire video to be captured and sent all at once. So now that we know the intricacies of how Python, OpenCV, and Flask can work together, the real question everyone is thinking about, can we turn on someone's webcam, stream the video, and make it accessible over the internet. Well, my friends, 
You're not going to catch my classic double barrel Chuck Dickens cinnamon roll Jimmy Johnson Summer of Love.